Ice Cream Man can be found on the first Van Halen album, and he's got the Phase 90 on for the entire solo. So let me show you the lead-in. He uses a technique called double stops, and he follows the bass line as a lead-in. Uh, it starts with E, and he's going to play the ninth fret on the D string and the B string, which is going to be the fifth and the third. And he comes up to the A, and then the B. He comes up and plays the third one more time. Then he's going to move up to the 17th fret and play the E there on the B string. Then with a pointer finger, the 12th fret on the E string, which sets him up for the solo. And the pattern for this riff looks like this. He's going to stretch out across the 12th fret, the 16th fret, and the 19th fret. And this is what it looks like. And then he's going to go down to the 12th fret, then up to the 16th fret with a pull off to the 12th fret. And he's going to play the 19th fret on the B string and back to the 12th fret on the E string. So your pattern looks like this. Then he's going to move the whole riff to the B string, except the last note is not going to end on the 12th fret of the B string. It's going to end on the 12th fret of the G string. So the riff looks like this. See, instead of ending on the, on the B, he ends on the 12th fret of the G. He moves the whole riff now to the G string, and he plays it again, ending this time on the D string as well, an exception on that last note. Now he moves the whole riff to the D string, and he's going to play it again, except he's not going to the A, he's going to stay on the D, just like he did when he was playing it up here on the E. Then he's going to play the 16th fret on the A string, and the 14th fret on the D string. Now I've seen some people play this, let me play this last uh, piece for you here. I've seen some people play it where they finish it here. I really don't believe that's what he did. He hasn't played it like this since the first uh, tour in 78, so, and I haven't had a chance to ask him, so I don't really know. But this is what it looks like then. Then the next part, right here in your E blues scale, he goes like this. And he's going to pull off to the 12th fret, and he's going to bend the 14th fret a whole, a whole step. Now, I see people playing it like this. It's not what he's doing. And you can really hear the pull off to that 12th fret. Then he's going to take the 14th fret, come down to the 12th fret, and then back up to the 14th fret with a whole step. He's going to give two little hits on the bar while he's on this 14th fret. And he's going to start to release it as he's hitting the bar. He's going to come down to the 12th fret on the, uh, on the G string. And he's going to let go of that and pull it open. And then you're going to give just a little bit of the bar here, just to give it some character. Coming back up, he's going to be back in the E blue scale. He's going to bend the 15th fret a whole step to the 12th fret on the E string. Then he's going to be here on the minor third. He's going to play the major third at the 16th fret twice. And then he's going to bend the 15th fret and then finish on the 12th fret of the E string. Now he's in the blue scale, he's going to do the, on the B string, 15th fret, pull off to the 12th fret, 14th fret on the G string. Then he's going to play the 12th fret on the B string, 15, 14 on G. Come back up to the 15th fret on the B string, he's going to pull off to the 12th fret. And he's going to give the 14th fret on the G string a bend, a half step. Then he's going to go 12th fret on the G and then 15, 14 on the E. Then he's going to play the same riff again. And then he's going to add the G and finish. And this time when he hits the G, he's going to do, uh, he, he's going to dive bomb, and then on the way up, he's going to pluck the E string. Now for the next part of this riff, or for his solo, if you play E pentatonic, which is E minor, if you move it three frets down, you actually get the pentatonic in E major. And that's what he does. He takes the 12th fret on the G string and he bends it a whole step while touching the 14th fret on the B string. 
down to the 12th fret, then he's going to slide down into that major pentatonic. He's going to play the 9th and 11th fret. Down to the D string. He's going to play the 10th fret on the A string. He's going to bend it up a half step, release it, play the 9th fret, and then 10th fret, and bend it up a half step. Now I see people playing this differently. Some people I've seen them bend at the 13th fret. Then they slide down here. I've seen people play it like this. When I listen to it, I hear this. When you go up to, you're going to play double stops again on the major third, right there. Let go of that, and you're going to slide up into the minor third. Back to the major third. Then you're going to play up to the 19th fret, which is the 5th, and then up to the 21st fret, which is the 6th, and back down to the 15th fret, and you get some string noise with an open B. And then, I don't know if he overbends the 15th fret, or if he is um, playing the 19th fret. I do know he gets a string noise with the, with the G string in there. And it sounds to me like it would be here because that's the right string noise. So this is this is like this. You're gonna come down to the 12th fret on the B string, 14th fret on the E string. You're gonna bend it up a half step and then let go of it. Back to the 12th fret on the B string. And then he's going to get the 14th and the 12th fret on the G string with a half step bend on the 14th fret. He gets a lot of mileage out of this. So you get this. And remember to use the staccato on the picking. Then he's going to come up bend the 15th fret again. 12th fret on the E string and he's going to play a series of triplets. On the B string it's going to be the 15th fret pull off to the 12th fret and then the 15th fret on the G string. Then it's going to be the 12th fret on the B string, and then the 15th and 14th fret on the G string. Plays the first triplet again, second triplet again. Then when he plays the first triplet, he's going to stop on the B. So that whole passage looks like this. Then this last run, uh, he takes the tritone that you would normally find on the 15th fret of the G string and he moves it to the 11th fret of the B string and he adds a couple of notes to this pentatonic. It's going to be the 11th fret on the D string and the 11th fret on the G string which is our notes that you would find in Dorian mode minor. So he's going to start on the 12th fret of the B string, he's going to pull off to the 11th fret 14, 12, 11 on the G string, 14th on the D string, then he comes back up and he plays the 12th fret on the G string and he pulls off to the 11th fret, and then the 14th fret on the D string. So you get this, like that. Then he's going to come back up to the 11th fret on the G string, to the 12th fret on the D string, 14th fret on the D string. Then he's going to go 11, 12 on the D string. And he's going to go 14, 11, 14 on the A string, 11 on the D string. And he's going to go 12, 14 on the A string. So you get this. And that is the solo from Ice Cream Man.